Okay, so in this video, uh, we'll find the iterative solutions or solution uh, of a difference equation. Okay, and so the equation, the difference equation that we will find that iterative solution for is the following equation, y of n, which is equal to negative 0 0.8 times y of n minus 1 plus x of n. Okay, so this is the difference equation that we're looking at. Okay, uh, for this iterative uh, solution or for this difference equation, uh, we will be inputting a signal x of n which is equal to the unit step uh, minus the unit step being delayed by three samples. Okay, so that is to say then that that unit step or that signal, pardon me, is equal to one between uh, zero and including zero up to or b just before three, okay? Everywhere else is gonna be equal to zero. So in other words, if we look at this, and this being our discrete time here, what we're saying is that at time equals zero, we'll have a value of one, at time one, we'll have a value of one also. And at time two, we'll have a value of one. Everywhere else, it'll be equal to zero, okay? Now we may represent this system in a canonical form here. And this being the canonical form of the system being described by this difference equation here. So that's x of n, it's being multiplied by one, it's going into a summer here, okay? And that's being summed with the output being delayed. This means delayed. That delayed output times negative 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.8, pardon me, is being summed again by the input and then being fed back to the output. Okay? So now, in this problem, I want you to assume that at y... Equal, uh, y, uh, when n is equal to negative 1, that y outputs, the system outputs a 0, okay? So now the question is, what is the iterative solution for this difference equation, all right? So given that that's the case then, let's go ahead and begin. So what we need to do is we need to consider the system at different values of uh, n, okay? So let's say that n, we start off with n being equal to 0, okay, when n is equal to 0, y of 0 then is equal to negative 0 0.8 times y 0 minus 1, right? Okay, uh, plus x of 0, and so therefore then that y of 0 is going to be equal to negative 0 0.8 uh, y to the negative 1 plus x to the 0, okay? And we said that at y to the negative 1, it's equal to 0, right? y to the negative 1 uh, at, at time negative 1, pardon me, is equal to 0. And so therefore then, we will have as a result, and remember that at x equals 0, it's equal to 1. So the result of this is going to be equal to one, okay? Again, this is zero causing this term to go to zero. This is one causing us to have a solution of one. When y is equal to one, okay, we have then that negative 0 0.8 at, let's see, y, that would be one minus one plus x to the, or x1 at n equals one, okay? And so in this case here, when y is equal to one, uh, when n is equal to one, so you have one minus one here, this y here, y of zero, is going to be equal to one, right? And so therefore then it's negative 0 0.8, because this is equal to one, and at one, remember this is equal to one also, and so therefore, then we have plus one here, giving us a value of 0 0.2 as the output, okay? At y, when n is equal to one. So now for y at n equals to two, 
and I'm rushing here so my hands are, my writing's a little bit sloppy at y is equal to negative 2 we have again negative 0.8 y this will be 2 minus 1 plus x at 2 okay and given that we have that then let's see what this is going to come out to be equal to so this is going to end up being equal to negative 0 0.8 again from here times that's going to be a y at 1 which was equal to 0 0.2 and then plus remember y at 2 according to what we have up here y at 2 is equal to 1 so this becomes 1 and this then the answer for this uh, when n is equal to 2 is going to be equal to let's see that would be uh, 0 0.84 okay so now when y uh, when n is equal to 3 what do we end up getting that's negative uh, whoops, 0 0.8 times y 3 to the minus 1 plus x uh, with n being equal to uh, 3 in this case so that's y n uh, 3 minus 1 here for the time okay and so what does this end up being equal to so that's negative 0 0.8 uh, y to the 3 minus uh, y 3 minus 1 here that's going to be the value that we had up here which was equal to 0 0.4 okay and now at x equals 3 remember that's going to be equal to 0 right that's going to be equal to 0 and so therefore oops I'm sorry I put uh, 0 0.4 here it should be 0 0.8 because that's the value from here right okay so uh, let's leave that in that form for now okay and now uh, you'll see why I left it in that form all right so now at y when n is 4 what's the output of y when n is 4 you have 0 0.84 of y and that's going to be when uh, the time is 4 minus 1 here and x is 4 or n is equal to 4 so okay so now this is going to be equal to what negative 0 0.8 remember now this y to the mind uh, y 4 minus 1 is going to be uh, y at times 3 so therefore that's equal to 0 0.8 times 0 0.84 okay and so then this here is equal to then uh, simplifying it a little bit this is going to be equal to and this should be a negative sign in here there we go simplifying it just a little bit then this is equal to negative 0 0.8 squared times 0 0.84 so now if we were to continue doing this what would happen is then we would have the same uh, values here except that this would be now two raised to the negative three negative four so on and so forth if we continued increasing the n value or or the time okay so we can see a pattern that's developing here okay between uh, from here down to here and we may write an equation based off of that pattern okay so now what we may say then and I'm going to move this off to the side here uh, what we may say is that for n greater than or equal to 2 okay what happens is we may say that y of n or y at uh, time n is equal to 0 0.84 times negative 0 0.8 okay raised to the n minus 2 power okay and again that was because of this right okay when n is equal to 4 over here notice the power is 2 
When n was equal to 3 over here, notice the power is 1. When n is equal to 2, notice the power is equal to 0. Okay? So therefore, we can say this right here. Okay? And because we may say that then, okay, we can write the equation this way. Because we can say that then, we may simplify y at time n to be the following. That's 0 0.84 times negative 0 0.8 raised to the second power times zero, negative 0 0.8 raised to the nth power. And this should be negative 2. Okay? And this would simplify to So this simplifies to, and I'm doing a quick calculation here, that's equal to 1.3125 times negative 0 0.8 raised to the nth power. Okay? So now, what do we do? That's only, that's only partial answer now. This is only for n greater than or equal to 2. This, this part works. So the question is, what about at n equals 0 and n equals 1? Because we cannot represent this entire uh, equation for the system just by this part. This part is only valid for n greater than or equal to 2. Okay? So the question is, what do we do at this point? Okay. So because I think I'm going to run out of time before I can actually get the uh, second part in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video at this point, and there will be a continuation to this that you may uh, take a look at. Okay? And that will be on my YouTube channel. Just check through the videos, it should be the part two uh, for the iterative solution of a uh, difference equation, okay?